everybody, my name is Kalyn and welcome back to my channel! So today, I'm going to be trying to make a giant Minecraft flower. I've actually made two of these over on TikTok already. Here is one of them. I love it so much. So yeah, if you wanna see me making this and the other one over on TikTok, just go check them out. I'll put the link down in the description box below. But today I thought it'd be really fun to do another one and I'd show you like the whole process and I just thought it would be really fun. I'm gonna be using these little wooden cubes. These are two centimeter cubes. You can get them on Amazon and eBay. They are my everyday. I use them for everything. I just think they're so great to like construct little Minecraft things. But anyway, today I'm gonna be trying to make the OG Minecraft dandelion. It's one of my faves, it's so cute. It used to be the one that I used to collect and like put in a plant pot next to my bed when I used to play like OG Minecraft. But anyway, let's just get started. Hi Han. look at I'm doing a little wiggle. Anyway, let's just get started with the whole process. So to begin, I printed out a picture of a Minecraft dandelion and I started by counting all the pixels. There were 31 in total, so I needed 31 cubes. These are just little wooden cubes, they're two by two centimeters. You can get them on Amazon and eBay and I think Hobbycraft do them too. So once I collected my cubes, I started to arrange them in the shape of a dandelion. Something I've noticed since buying these cubes is that sometimes they aren't quite perfect. So sometimes I have to rotate them so that they like align properly and eventually you'll have something that looks a little bit like this. Yay! So once I was happy with my shape, I actually grabbed this super glue gel. The gel is my favorite, but if you're doing this yourself, I recommend using wood glue because super glue is super scary. Didn't actually get my fingers stuck together this time. <laughs> but anyway, I started gluing all of the cubes together one by one. I actually worked in rows. So I started with the bottom, then I did the next one and then the next one. So this step did take ages but it wasn't so bad actually i actually quite enjoyed it i found it. that the more neat i was with it the more aligned they were and the easier they are to paint later <laughs> as you can see i'm still working in rows i recommend adding a little bit of glue to a cube allowing it to dry and then doing another but as cube. you can see i'm almost done with all of the rows and then once the rows are completely done i start gluing the rows together on top of each other i hope that makes recommend sense recommend having your reference nearby because it's so easy to mess up and if you mess up they are stuck they're not moving but eventually <laughs> the shape of my dandelion was done and i'm so happy with how it looks it looks really cute and it's really neat so now it's time to start painting so i went ahead and grabbed my paints and i actually marked off on my reference image the colors that i'm going to be working on first i love using a reference because it really helps me keep track of what blocks i've done already but i started by mixing two different shades of green for the stem and i started by doing the lighter green shades and then i moved on to do the darker green shades once i was done with the lighter shades. i forgot to mention that i'm using like a square shaped brush as well as acrylic paint but as you can see i painted the front of the flower first and then i painted the Sides. Once I was done painting the sides yeah. using the light green, I moved on to paint the dark green pixels, which was such a nice green. I think this is like my favorite color. I made this color by using the green that I used for the lighter pixels, but just added a bit of dark brown. As you can see, I'm just painting away. This bit was so therapeutic. I just love painting on wood. I don't know if you guys have ever done it, but it's so fun and so satisfying. But I painted the front and the sides and then it was done. Well, the stem was done and it looks really good. I'm so happy with it. Next up, I grabbed my yellow acrylic paint and I started painting the lighter pixels on the floor. This bit was actually more difficult than it seems because I couldn't get the paint to be very opaque and even. But I ended up doing about three coats of the light yellow paint before moving on to the darker shade. Eventually I was done with the lighter yellows and then I could move on to the darker yellow, which was more of a like greeny yellow. It's actually three different shades of yellow in the top of the flower. So here I am doing the darkest color, which was basically even more of the dark green color mixed into the yellow. And then eventually it was done. My goodness, it is so cute. Look at it. I love it so much. I honestly just want to make more and more of these. They are adorable. Here it is. I am so happy with it. I think this might be my favorite one so far. It was really difficult to get like the vibrancy on the yellows. Maybe next time I'll like color the block white beforehand. But I'm so happy with it. I think it's so adorable. This was only about a two hour project, which I don't think is too bad. This is one of the smaller flowers, so it didn't use as many cubes. But I'm just so happy with it. Ah! I loved making this and I hope you guys were able to like see what tools I used and how I did it okay in the video. It didn't take very long to film, so I feel like it might be quite a short video. So sorry if I missed something. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm just so happy with them. I think they're so adorable and I just want to make more and more. Let me know down in the comments below if you want to see me do like another Minecraft thing to put up on my wall. Maybe like a record disc or a cookie or something like that. I'm almost out of cubes, so I'm going to have to order some more. But that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and you liked seeing me create these little Minecraft things because I loved making them. If you guys are new here, it would mean the world if you like and subscribe because it just really helps me out. You can also check out all my other social media channels down in the description box below. You can check out my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter and my TikTok as well as my Twitch. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the Poppy 
and the tulip that I made I did over on TikTok. So I'll link those down in the description box below so you can watch them too. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next Friday at 5. Bye! Bye.